Right, we started this video reminding you that Midas, the robot, uh, ends tonight, is, is up for sale on eBay, and it ends tonight at six o'clock. It is half past 10 now, Saturday morning. This video, what you're gonna see, is from Thursday. And it's a good video and also watch it. And remember, subscribe, isn't it? Get right? bidding, boys! And get bidding. Yes. See you <laughs> Oh, she's gone, he's sick and tired of it. Enjoy the video, have a good weekend, woo woo! Come on, Arch, we need to fix this tractor. We, we're gonna have a go at fixing the TE20. Let's go, lovely day. Morning, boys and girls. Right, we're going to D&J this morning. Uh, Dave rang me up yesterday. I don't know what he's got on. Uh, he says that I don't need to bring out like any any like pick up any uh, any parts. So he says it's just I want you to strip some of it down and so I can order it or something. I don't really know. Let's find out, shall we? Like a little surprise, isn't it? Go and get a meal deal first, eh? You've always got to start the day with a meal deal. Trouble is, my fucking cup card don't work, does it? What might be in that blasting booth today? Fucking hell. There's always someone with a worse job than you. Let's go to school. Right, I've ordered a plastic card one there. Tesco's cup card, just a plastic freaking card. All this computer shit, you need all passwords and that. If you log out, who the hell remembers the freaking Tesco's club card password? Hey, who remembers that? Not me, that is a fact. Not bloody me. Let's go, people. Sick of it, man. Sick of these bloody passwords. Technology and password. Look, I wasted half an hour there just prattling about with a fucking club card. Mind you, it does save you a lot of money, like, but still, it's annoying. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Is Dave here or is he out? He's out, but he's left me a list of stuff for you to do. Has he yeah. now? <laughs> You're the man I need to talk to then. Yeah. I'm just going to go for a piss, mate. Yeah, that sounds Where's good. the list in there? No, in my head. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The best place to store anything. If I store it in my head, it all just goes. Disappears, right? Right, Dave's not here, but he's left me a list. Little Red has got a fault with the IAB on it. That's not an IAB. It's a pal finger. The grab. The crane. Whatever it is. Locking out, isn't it, you say? Yeah, go on, strike her up. Is that the override? Yeah. Okay. So we are that to then go out then? No. Yeah. It's easy, it? Have senses lock. Yeah. Well, it's got I'll check what you are now. Yeah. Seems a bit fishy. It started playing up since they've done that though, doesn't it? Yeah. You know the old saying, don't you? If it was working before you touched it, it's something you've done. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So it's got an electric plug to this and all, hasn't it? Yeah. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to Google these fault codes to see whether it comes up without. But it seems a bit strange that they've changed that, like, uh, that sensor thing, whatever it is, full valve sensor, I don't know what it is. It's got an electric plug to it. Anyway, they've changed that, and since that, they've been having issues with it locking out. And, ha and having to override it. I'll have a Google one. Look, it's come bearing gifts, look. Ain't ya? The repair god gifts. <laughs> that little steel's got its pull cord on. And this one's got its belt snap. What, that was new, was it? Brand new, yeah. And what, it just come off straight away? Yeah, 
It was something like lining up then yeah. or something. It's trying to pull too much, if you know what I mean. Oh, is it? Yeah. I shall have a look at it for you. I'm just going to give him a room because I don't know if he's got a new one. All right. Yeah. No, piss all. I'm wasting my time there, aren't I? Come on, let's just chase wires and just check them. It seems a bit strange that they fit that solenoid, though. I don't like that. Normally a case, if, if it was working before you did something, it's something you've done, isn't it? That's the normal case, anyway. I don't like that bit of tape up there, either. I'm going to investigate these bits of tape and that. Wherever you see insulation tape is always a good place to start. Ah, that looks pretty recent, not that is. Everywhere where it bends, you see in that, that's normally a case where it pulls wires and that, or rubs them. Off in a while, I would just drill the head off. Well, it looks like a specialist screw lock. It's not just a normal screw, I don't think. I'm just gonna get my grinder down it just to do a bit of a line down it. Yeah, he's told me, yeah. So yeah a belt, yeah, that's yeah, right, yeah. Right. A belt on a pull cord, isn't it? Yeah. But you've had a belt on it, are you? That, that yeah, what doing. doing? Racing, so I don't know if the carbon's cleaning out. Oh, is it like, mm, yeah, like hunting? Race, yeah, it's racing really, really fast, and I think it blew the. It went all yeah, it's, overpowered uh, on itself. Overpowered on it. Yeah, Dave was just saying, and all that, that like relay thing, that there is meant to light up. When it's working all right, it actually lights up. What colour? What, like a green LED or something, Dave? I don't know, colour blind, probably yellow. Oh, you're colour blind? Yeah, I'm green. But, any, but, but it's meant to light up anyway, so it doesn't matter what colour it is, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> it's meant to light up, so I know. Oh. Well, when we get it, do get it working, it does light up now. Yeah. Well, I'll take that lid off and trace the wire in when I... And obviously, a, uh, one of Dave's subscribers is... Very kindly sent that. There's been a couple, actually. One from Ireland, and I don't know where the other guy was from, and they both sent the same information through, but I think that's really good. That's good, yeah, it is, isn't it? All right, let's get this lid off. I'm just going to put a grinding mark down this screw so I can remove this lid because it's annoying me. The roof's got more sweat now than oil and grease. Not really. Ha! <laughs> you can never get enough oil and grease on your roof. But right, where's my grinder gone now, my goggles? Hey! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. See, if I'd have cut through that, look how special that screw is, look. Ooh, looks complicated in here. Yeah, Dave was saying that this box is upside down. So it wasn't reading E. What was it reading? Whatever it was, it's upside down anyway. So when I put that lid back on, I'm going to put it the other way around, aren't I? The, the, the right way around. So the actual fault codes are reading right. That could send you off, couldn't it? Being the lid upside down. <laughs> eh? Good job you told me, wasn't it? Yeah, so that code, upside down, obviously, the right way round, is 0763. So 0763, extensions extended. Look, this is good, look. It tells you the reason why, the small movement and all that, and then it tells you the solution of how you can fix it. Yeah, I take it that, uh, that what Dave's on about up there, that thing that lights up, 
uh, is this spool position sensor because it says the diode in the spool position box has to light up if the spool is in neutral position, which it's not large enough, is it? So it's obviously not in neutral. Uh, check the wiring and, and the connection of the spool valves to test the module. Uh, you can interchange two plugs as well, so swap them round, obviously. So let's just do that. Let's see if there's another one of them little spool things on it and swap it round. And it's of this, isn't it? They want greasing as well before I put them back in so we don't have the same difficulty. So that is meant to be that way around, like that. Right, I'm just gonna whip that off there, look. Because everything's pointing to this thing, isn't it? So I'm just gonna whip that off and see how clean the spindle is coming out the top of what it senses it off. So I'll get 19 now. Yeah, so they haven't changed that, look, and they haven't changed that either. Literally all they've done is just put a nut on top of it because before it was spinning round, I should think anyway. I was hoping there'd be another one situated somewhere, but I can't see one. Oh, yeah, you can't do it. Yeah, but I'll do it myself. All right, Dave. All right, mate. You can't do it without an air on, can you? Oh, it's on the front of the road. Uh-uh. Oh, you both got one. Oh, I'll just go like it. Yeah, it. It don't look the best, look. Look at that terminal there, look. Rusted up to hell. Is that doing out? I'm just going to get a bit of sandy paper on there. Something else. Air on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was five feet. Yeah. Yes, there was. Uh, do you want another drink for it? I'm going to. No, I'm all right, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's all right. Thank you. Yeah, Just got to clean this bit up and all, on here. Right, I've put that back in now and I've put that back on. Uh, I don't really know where that's fucking from. I can't find the other end of that. But I don't think that's anything causing it because the fault is intermittent and that wouldn't be an intermittent fault, would it? All right, let's strike her up and just see if that's changed anything at all. Coincidence. Well, I haven't put that lid back on yet because uh, I want to try it again first to see if that was just pure luck. Uh, look, one good thing about my little birdie is she's growing all the time, which means I get plenty of these. Look at them. Oh, look at that. That's a perfect rag right there, isn't it? Beautiful little, I love rags, love them. <laughs> Seems okay. Well, it wasn't working before when I first went to it, and now it's working. So I'll take that a success. It needs to work it really, doesn't it? Right, we'll do our next job and we'll just keep on having to try this, won't we? Right, let's change this pull cord quick. Yeah. That pull cord's a bit thick. Old pull cord. Do you know where the old pull cord is to this strimmer? A camera right in your face. Yeah, I love it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just like being at home. 
Mm. Because that one's too thick. Too thick? Yeah. It's tough, but it won't fit it all well if you only get one wheel around it. Well, let's take that off now instead. Fast for no, no return, baby, on the summer night. The shy love and the sparkle left to be. So, yeah, apparently that's uh, a hell for leather, basically. Yeah, is it rolled up? Yes, and we're rolling very fast. <laughs> You see that lot there, that accelerator there. Well, if I do the accelerator, look, it's meant to be pulling this in and out, but it's not doing. That just seems to be stuck open. Look, just gonna take that bolt out there and them two bolts out there. They go all the way through the carb and hold the carburetor in. stuck open all the time look that's meant to open and close but it's stuck open all the time there now we save the precious juice don't we all hearts are lost by the fall in the time of a single deed we believe in all the next I've turned it a bit look so take your yeah, it's not doing out now, look. It's just moving the plastic and not the inner bit. Oh, it's lovely and free now. Look at that, look. A bit of brake cleaner down there. She'll be sweet, won't she? Oh, that look, like new look. Eh? Hey? Beautiful, isn't it? Baby Dave? Yeah, it was seized here in this cob. So it was? Yeah, this was seized, yeah. So it was open, wide open. So it was revving its bollocks off all the time. So I had to take that little plastic thing off there. But obviously it's not made to be taken off. But I'll put it back on and I've lubed it all up. And look at it now, look, she's free running now. So she should be a good one, Dave. Beautiful. <laughs> But it was an in, it was an intermittent fault anyway, wasn't it? So yeah. Oh well, I know. well, it's not doing it. I, as I say, I've tried it. I've tried it quite a few times. You just tried it twice. Oh, I know what it could do. One here. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his eye up there, though, Dave. <laughs> He's giving this air horn job and it's high, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Have you got a horn this, Dave? Oh. You know what that is? That's a brake what? on a motorbike. Sweet. Yeah, the back. Oh, brake. yeah, the thing of the lever white yeah. goes on, Dave. Oh, my made God. Oh, have you done that? Yeah. You made that? Yeah. Oh, well done. Adaption. That's a good adaption. Overcome over and adapt. Yeah, you got some. Yeah, that's better. That's it. You just need to make sure you've coiled this up enough time so it all screws back in the whole cable. Right, let's get the handle. Let's give it a go. That'll do, won't it? She's a worker, mate. Right, get on with this one. My boxers are always riding up the arse. <laughs> you know what I mean? They end up like they are, up here they do. Like I'm wearing a massive nappy.
Lovely. Right, put the air filter on, then we'll try The good thing here is, Dave does sort out the parts before you come, because it's half the battle, isn't it? You know, waiting for parts and ordering parts and all that mm, fajazzle, it's rubbish, isn't it, and slow, and it takes ages. But Dave has all the parts here ready and waiting for you. Bloody efficient man. Right, he's got a solenoid now for his air orb. It goes from electric from his switch there to this solenoid up on his cab, uh, which has an air supply to it which then trips the switch to then blast the air out of the air horns. So this solenoid must be fault eight, so I'm gonna change this. Well, oh, new one, like, hang on, that's sleeving in it. Like pulling a little tooth, that was, wasn't it? I knew there'd be a soft bit in it somewhere. I don't really know what this little sleeve does, but it was on it, so I'll put it back on it. Fucking this cabin, fucking burning, man. There we go, put a bit of sealant around it to stop it dripping in the winter. See this, but when you have the leg out, and then when you push the leg in again, then pipes will screw up there, look. So you have to manually put them down like that. And it's annoying. So I'm just gonna turn these here into a different position, so they're upright like that. Oh. <laughs> well, they're up top there, aren't they? Look, now to follow the rail down, as they should do. Bloody good show. Well, that's it, isn't it? We've done it, we? I think I've done all the jobs. Stall, man. I've had no food all day. I thought these might have gone a bit, a bit stale, but they haven't. I'll see you guys on the next one. Drink plenty of water in this weather. Use your hammer, not your hand. You're as bad as me using your hand. Hey, then try again. Yeah, that's the one.